What's up guys, welcome back to HMHT, my name is Ben, your host of course, and today Apple has released WatchOS 7.5 release candidate. That is the update that we have today and it comes after one week since WatchOS 7.5 beta 3. Now for me on my Apple Watch Series 6 that you are seeing here, it came in at around 106 MBs and I was updating from WatchOS 7.5 beta 3 and if you are coming from any other different version, the update size might be slightly different, however not by much. And also obviously this is not all that Apple released today. If we go on to the Apple developer website, I just want to show you some other updates that Apple released. So you can see they released macOS Pixel 11.4 release candidate, they released iOS 14.6 release candidate, also released iPadOS 14.6 release candidate, watchOS 7.5 release candidate, obviously this is the video for that, and also they released tvOS 14.6 release candidate. So I'm going to be covering most of these updates on the channel and if you haven't subscribed, a sub would be great. Now, let's go into the system changes of this watchOS 7.5 if we go to the about this watch section you can see the new build number that we have there and it's 18t567 so that's the build number that came with this update and now let's go into the new features and changes that came with this update i'm sure you already saw the first few ones so this is a new watch face that actually came with watch away 7.5 and it's a pride watch face that's meant to go alongside the new 2021 pride band that Apple released today so this is one of the two and this is like a rectangular one and then you also have like a circular one so this is how it looks and it moves as you move the crown so you can see how it changes side and you can always customize it according to your need or your preferences and these are what came with the default watch faces so that's the circular one and then this is this one that's sort of rectangular and then obviously if you go into the apple watch application here on the iphone and then go to watch gallery here you will see it as new in watch os so these are the new watch os faces that came with the update you can always check them out and if you click on pride woven so it says pride woven and and you can see that we have a circular one and a rectangular one either if you select either of the two let's select this one so you can see rectangle and then circular so you can get either of the two irregardless of selecting you know a different one and obviously you can customize it let's go back to uh, the rectangular one and see how you can customize it so you can see the rectangular one you can't really customize it much but if you select the circular one then all these things actually come active and you can make changes to them and select different parameters that you want to use with your watch face so that is the new watch face and obviously if you want a new pride watch bands there's a nike one and also another different one so you can always get them on the apple website should you wish to so that's the first one that i would like to mention or the first new change that came with this update and the second one that i would like to mention has to do with access to subscription content in the podcast app so this is the app and if you're going to be subscribing to podcast either on the iphone then you'll be able to see those same podcasts on the apple watch and now the apple watch contains subscriptions although they are not yet active if you go into your podcast app on the iphone and click your profile you'll be able to see a section that says subscription i won't click there because it shows my apple id which i don't feel confident sharing as of yet but when it comes out fully you'll be able to see the subscriptions that you downloaded on the watch and also you'll be able to manage those same subscription on the iphone as well as on the apple watch you'll be able to see your saved subscriptions and how you've been less listening and also you'll be able to see what's next and your library and also if you have any downloads you'll be able to see those so like for example main behind the hype you can see i follow this guy he's a good youtuber and once this comes out i can be able to subscribe and maybe this will be in a sense supporting those podcast producers so that's something good that came with this update and also the other thing that i would like to mention that came with this update 
has to do with Apple Card, which allows members to track expenses, manage spending, and build credit together with family sharing groups. So if you have a family sharing or something like that set up on your Apple Watch or on your Apple Pay app, be it on the watch or on the iPhone, then you get family sharing and you can build credit together and see how the different members that are connected to the wallet are spending the money or are using the wallet app so that's one of the new features that came with watch away 7.5 and also something that's good with this update has to do with the ecg app so this ecg app that you are seeing here is being provided or being made available in more region with watchOS 7.5 the ecg app is now available from the series 4 and newer in malaysia and peru so if you're in those regions then you can actually check out the ecg app and also since malaysia and peru get the ecg that means that with watchOS 7.5 those regions also get support for irregular heart rate and rhythm notifications since the ecg makes those possible so those are now supported and also this is something that was mentioned in the release notes and it has to do with the ability to actually update your apple watch without having to remove the beta profile so if you are on a beta and the release candidate comes out instead of removing your beta profile i'm, I'm so used to the apple watch and i feel comfortable showing it to you on the apple watch so if i go to profile you can see my watch OS beta this is a developer profile say i have this profile and then let's say a release candidate comes out like i'm on beta 3 and then a release candidate comes out i can up update to the rc without removing the profile and then say an official version comes out i can also choose to upgrade to either a beta that's available or remove the beta and upgrade to a normal version that would have been released without having to do much with the profile or the beta profile that you are seeing here so that's something that's not yet here fully but it could be coming in the near future with ios and also watch os now those seems to be the major new features and changes that came to watch os 7.5 i like these new watch faces especially that they rotate and make movements as you rotate the crown they look kind of sick actually and if you have the new watch bands that came out then those will make a good matching pair so this is how this update came in for me let's go into settings just to see the battery i charged my watch all the way to 100 percent as i was updating and as you can see i think it's been about two hours since i charged my watch and it's on 94 percent so in two hours i lost about six percent which is actually not too bad and you can see it was last charged two hours ago to 100 percent so actually my calculation is kind of correct and if we go to see the battery health you can see the maximum health capacity has now degraded by another percent so you can see here it's on 95 and if you follow my watch os video about a week ago on watch os 7.5 beta 3 this was on 96 so it's gone down by another percent which sort of you know I, I won't complain i guess it's with time and age and so far i've been enjoying the battery health as well as the performance that came with watch os 7.5 this update is going to be released to the public very soon and since we are sort of getting closer to wwdc let's go on and have a look when this update could be released so today you can see is may the 17th and this update i sort of thought that apple was going to release on a tuesday or wednesday and then next week would would get like the official public release but since they released it on a monday you never know we could get this update like on a wednesday or friday and by latest but on the week of the 24th this update should be out since wwdc kicks off on june 7th to 11 and that's when we get the next revolutionary watch os 8 update so that's how this update came in for me if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe down below and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace